We decided to make something to tell the Jews and Arabs that we already live in peace and we say yes to the peace and a thousand times no to the war. A community made up of a new generation of Jews and Arabs is growing and thriving in three different areas of Israel, proving that Jews and Arabs can live and learn together in peace. This unique educational project was launched in 1998 in the Galilee and Jerusalem, where Jews and Arabs live as neighbors. Classes in the bilingual school are team taught by a pair of teachers, one Jewish, the other Arab. Here, the children learn together and master each other's languages from the earliest ages. For me, this is a dream to, to, to make a change here in the, in the area, a way for us to begin with the children to learn them how to live together. In spite of repeated violence in the region, hand-in-hand -hand schools have flourished, living their message of peace and increasing their number of pupils year after year. Aviva and Nadia teach simultaneously Arabic and Hebrew. The children are becoming fluent in both languages. Our children learn how to see the reality in a very complicated way and how to understand the reality and how to uh, uh, be critical to the reality and to ask uh, hard questions. The message is that we can learn to be with one another, to live in proximity to one another without necessarily having to assimilate, we can still respect each other's differences. We're equal in the school. That's why I feel equal to the parents in the school, and the Arab teacher feels equal to the Jewish teacher, and my son feels equal to the Jewish kid sitting next to him. next morning, the atmosphere at school changes completely. A blast was heard just a few minutes before the beginning of the school day, so close that it shook the walls of the building. Nineteen people lost their lives in a terrorist bus bombing. The school copes with these events in its own special way. <laughs> حسيت إجري برجه وقلبي بدوك كتير قوي وقلت واي مين ده يحكي لنا الصبح شو صار إيش عنده إيش يحكي لنا بس ما بتوت كلنا خفنا وبعدها سنا نشوف الدخان طالع The children go on venting their feelings. While not far from here, emergency teams finalize their operations.
אז מה, מה, מה אתה חושב צריך לעשות? שפעם זה, שהם יעשו ישיבה והם ידברו על זה. ואם היו מזמינים אותך לישיבה כזו, מה אתה היית אומר? המון דברים. חשבתי על זה במכונית. כשהייתי אומר, אם לא מסכימים, אז זה של אף אחד. כי אם, ואם מסכימים, אז זה יכול להיות של כולם. מה חשבת על ערבים לפני שהגעת לבית הספר, אביב? שהם כזה קצת מוזרים. קצת מוזרים, והיום אתה חושב שהם מוזרים? לא. מה אתה חושב? שהם נחמדים, והם עוזרים אחד לשני. זה כמו יהודים, רק אחרים קצת. A third hand-in-hand school was opened in Kfar Kara, an Arab village. The school was established following the success of the first two schools and at the request of this community. This school is attracting Jewish and Arab families from the whole region, providing the choice for Jewish and Arab parents who perceive a future of peace and coexistence for themselves and their children. Like all hand-in-hand schools, it is led by Arab and Jewish co-principals. The uniqueness of this school is that uh, it is located in the heart of an Arab village in Israel. This thing made a revolution in relations between Jews and Arabs in this area of Wadi Ara. The diversity of the school community is celebrated and integrated into everyday life. We're trying to create a reality where each child can be proud of their own cultural heritage without needing to uh, forego any of its pieces. And by comparing their culture to another person's culture, it actually strengthens their own cultural identity. And instead of being a melting pot, we're creating a tapestry where each child can be proud of their own culture. The hand in hand project is growing like our kids. We can feel its impact inside the school, on the kids, on the staff, but also in the school community. And we believe that we can influence larger and larger circles in the future. One of the tremendous things about Hand in Hand today is the wide range of our children's ages. From three years in the kindergarten to teenagers in our junior high, all these children are receiving a high quality education. We believe that the graduates of our high school will be leaders. They will be young men and women with strong social values and commitments who will be involved, will contribute and will influence the future Israeli society. The schools are creating new bonds. The parents form an integral part of the school community. They have a mutual sense of responsibility, nurturing the project pioneered by hand in hand. The only thing to do to, for our uh, future, for our kids' future, is to teach them to love each other. It's better than fighting and war. أنا بدي سلام بين العرب واليهود والكل الأولاد يحب بعض واحد الثاني كل السنة كانت حلوة أنا أشتاق إلى السنة يا غاك سلوم بأريد إتنا بين لبنين لبنوت